Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. It's me, your teacher, Shama Shakil. Today, I'm going to explain unit number two, Microorganisms, Health and Diseases of Class 5. So for that, you have to open your page 11. It is on page 11. So let's begin. Microorganisms. What are microorganisms? There are millions of living things around us that are very tiny. These are called microorganisms. Basically, we are not able to see this kind of organisms through our naked eyes. For that, we need special microscope to see or study about these microorganisms. So these are very tiny. People use the word germs when they talk about harmful microorganisms. They are found in the air, in water, in soil, in or on our body and on the surface of every object. But we can't able to see that with our naked eyes, right? Because they are very tiny. So we have to use a proper microscope to study about these organisms or to see the structure of these organisms, kind of these, right? So basically they are very tiny. So there are basically four main kinds of these microorganisms. These are viruses, bacteria, fungi and protozoa. They affect the body in different ways. So let's get study about these. Viruses. They are smaller than bacteria. They grow and survive only in the living cells of organisms and it multiplies rapidly. Always remember they, uh, that viruses are smaller than bacteria but they grow and survive only in the living cells of organisms. Only in the living and active cells of organisms and they multiply rapidly. Multiply rapidly means very fastly okay so uh, here basically some illness which is caused by viruses in humans are chicken pox cold measles mums hepatitis you have also familiar about these chicken pox hepatitis mums cold and measles chicken pox is just like uh, spots on your or kind of pimples on your full body especially on your skin hepatitis you also know cold common cold right mums the swelling of your face and throat that illness right so these illness are caused by viruses the first one kind of and common kind of microorganism the second one is you can see here in this picture depiction i have also mentioned a child having chicken pox so look at here in his skin you can saw different kinds of a spot right and why i'm showing this structure viruses are basically in these kinds of structure okay next one is bacteria bacteria is basically unicellular organism bacteria are unicellular organism first you have to understand what is meant by unicellular organism uni means one cellular talking about cell which means it's a single cell organism or a cell or or a organism which uh, which have only one cell is known as unicellular so bacteria are unicellular organisms they grow and multiply rapidly like as same viruses they also grow and multiply rapidly very fastly which means they increase their number very fastly right but uh, uh, and basically a bacterial cell exists in three basic shapes these are the three basic shapes round kind of oval, and the curl shape right so these are the basic shapes of bacteria but always remember not all bacteria are harmful. Some of them are useful for humans. Always remember not all bacteria are harmful. Some of them are very useful for humans and other animals and plants. Do you, uh, let me give you an example. Do you enjoy eating yogurt, cheese and butter? Have you ever think 
that these are all prepared using bacteria so these are not harmful for us right these are not harmful for us and some bacteria live in your body inside your body and it helps you in digestions right so some bacteria live inside your body and it helps in digestion so illness caused by bacteria are typhoid and pneumonia you are also familiar with this pneumonia basically it's a, you can say when a person feel very cold and with very high temperature or chest infection it's a form of pneumonia right and typhoid you also know about these right third one is fungi some are unicellular and some are multicellular as i have explained what are unicellular now i have to explain what are multicellular cellular again means when we are discussing cells and multi means more than two more than two which means many so some fungi are unicellular and some are multicellular they cannot make their own food and obtain their food from other organisms on which they grow always remember that if we are talking about fungi so they cannot make their own food they obtain their food from other organisms especially on which they grow some examples of mushrooms uh, sorry some examples of fungi are mushrooms yeast molds some fungi like mushrooms are edible what is meant by edible which you can simply eat theek hai jo aap eat kar sakte ho some fungi like mushrooms are edible but some are poisonous so we have to avoid poisonous mushroom right we are using mushrooms in pizza so they are not poisonous they are edible but some are poisonous wild mushrooms so they are, they can create uh, harm for us right fungi can also grow on the human body and can cause skin infections like athlete's foot have you ever heard this word athlete's foot it's a infectious disease which is uh, creating spot kind of red spot kind of thing in your feet so that is why we say athlete's foot so it is caused by fungi you can see here molds on rotting fruit this is known as molds right in this picture you can see uh, the orange in this orange peel there are molds right and look at here mushrooms three kinds of mushrooms and uh, there are basically many kinds of mushrooms uh, but the botanist especially uh, they can understand and they can know that what are the poisonous mushrooms and those of edible mushrooms right next one is protoza this is on your page 14 pro means primitive like talking about the early stage of development and zo means animals the early stage of animals are like this so they are unicellular organism again protozoa are unicellular organism they grow in moist places they grow in moist places we are not talking about inside our body especially they grow in moist places where uh, which is quite wet not dry right moist places commonly found in water definitely in water at the corner of uh, any water uh, line or sewage system you can find kind of moistness right so they grow in moist places commonly found in water illness caused by protozoa are dysentery and diarrhea diarrhea you are very well known about these okay uh, let me add something okay uh, the singular form of bacteria is bacterium right remember we are talking about plural form that is why we use a word bacteria but whenever we are uh, using for a singular form so we have to use bacterium right and the singular form of fungi is fungus the singular form of fungi is fungus and the singular form of protozoa is protozoa protozoa right so these were i want to add right so today uh, we have discussed about microorganisms and uh, all basic main four kinds of microorganism they are viruses bacteria and 
bacteria, viruses, protozoa and fungi. Right? So I am ending my topic here. Inshallah in next lesson I am going to explain the next one topic of this unit.